Well, hello, welcome to the channel. I want to say thanks for clicking on the video. And this is Nate. I got the Magnolia. Now this one has the vinyl on the outside. Of course, you can change up your colors. You can change up the, the looks, the shutters, the vinyl, things like that. So you can get the outside to look a little bit different. <clears throat> This is a 2,300 square foot, four bedroom, two bath home with a really large den. And I know the last four bedroom one I filmed that had a den, had an option to change the den to the fifth bedroom. That may be an option with this. I'm not sure yet. So don't hold me to that. But if it is, that'll be when I show the floor plans. I am at Pratt Homes here in Tyler, Texas. So I want to say thanks to Pratt Homes for letting me come film their homes. So I'm not sure if I can get to the backside and show you very well. Let's see, so this home is a partial sheetrock, partial wallboard. So all your living spaces are going to be sheetrock. All your bedrooms are going to be the wallboard. So there's the back door coming out of our utility room. We've got this great big floor to ceiling window here. Got a great big floor to ceiling window here. Now I will tell you, the floor plan on this one, it's a little bit different. Oops, don't be peeking into that bathroom now. <laughs> so the floor plan on this one, you do not walk into the living room. You see your living room when you walk in, but you're not walking into the living room. You're walking in on the dining room yep so a little bit different for a floor plan something i can't say that i've ever seen before so stick around let's head in Is the door you're seeing as you come in or the door you're walking into so it is right into your dining room but I just wanted to show you as you walk in you do see your living room but you're walking into the dining room area and let me just tell you <laughs> the area classified as the dining room in here is massive <laughs> they've got the table closer to the kitchen but I mean look at all the space you have from where the table is to over this way now of course you're not going to want a table directly in front of your door but I'm just saying you've got that much space to work with they've got a little drop space they've added right there and you could maybe put in a built-in drop space there And since we're in the dining room, of course, we've been kind of checking it out already. But let's go to the kitchen. And then we'll come out and we'll get the living room. Because you've got this really big and well lit, let me tell you. <laughs> so the rest of the home could probably add a little more light because this is well lit. Some of the other home is a little on the darker side, even with the lights on. So keep that in mind as I'm filming. It's a cloudy day out, not a lot of natural light coming in. But look at all the cabinets you have in here. We've got a wall of cabinets surrounding your fridge. We've got the USB plugs good size counter here or center island I should say with two big cabinets down below a 
lots and lots of counter space in here. Three great big windows above your sink. So this whole area is well lit. We've got somewhat of a corner cabinet here. Let's see. I'm picking the middle one. It's empty. I broke my streak. <laughs> for, the, for the better part of the day, didn't matter what drawer I opened, there was something in it. Let me guess, we got this spice rack area right here. Yep. I like this built-in spice rack right here. Pretty cool. They can just close it off. And then you've got some display knick-knack shelves right here. Or whatever you want to put in there. But I mean, just the amount of counter space in here is like, <laughs> if you run out of counter space in here, you're doing a lot of prep work and a lot of cooking. That is a lot of counter space, a lot of cabinets, big center island, as I mentioned. And we have a pass through that goes to your utility room and your back door is over there. But let's come back this way. Yes, this way, not this way, but this way. <laughs> We've got a built-in fireplace, electric fireplace, some nice built-in cabinets. I really like those built-ins. And, you know, great big area for your TV up there. You've got those big floor to ceiling windows over here. Now I know they don't truly go to the floor and to the ceiling, but you got to have your boards down at the bottom for support. You got to have your header boards up top. So you got to keep that kind of stuff in mind when I say floor to ceiling, because you can't truly go floor to ceiling because you have to have those support areas. And then we have the vaulted ceiling with the ceiling fan. So as I said, kind of some unique little features in this home. With this side giving you the vaulted ceiling, even though that's technically not the way the roof line goes. Because your roof line is, now it's just like a 412 pitch or something like that. It's not a very steep pitch. And I like how they did these accent beams coming down to your your built-ins. Now we're going to go down the endless hallway. <laughs> Look how long this hallway is. <laughs> so that was to your kitchen. This is to your utility room. So now, like I said, this is built to be at one of the manufacturing facilities that builds their more entry level, mid level type homes. So there's no doors on the furnace, no door on the on the water heater, but that is where those are going to be. You have your your side by side with the wire racks, and it's wide enough. That if you put a plug right there, you could probably put yourself a freezer right there. Because there's plenty of width right here to be able to walk in, get your washer and dryer, that kind of stuff. To the left past that is bedroom number one. All your vents are in the ceiling. Whoops. It's been 15 minutes already. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Had to go reset the timer. <laughs> All their lights are on timers, and this one only has a 15 minute timer. Some of them have 20 and 30 minute timers. And then we're going to go a little bit further down to the right. 
get bedroom number two. Now this one has the closet right when you walk in. So let me close this door, open this door. Nope, no peeking, no peeking, no peeking. <laughs> so here is your bathroom. Now this isn't just your standard bathroom, it is a four bedroom, so they made sure you got plenty of room. You can have kind of basically two people in here. You got lots of drawers on both sides, big counter space. Now the single vanity, and we're gonna say hello to Raiden. But then you've got your toilet and shower back here with a door. So you could have somebody in here taking a shower while the other person's doing their hair, their makeup, you know, whatever else. Shaving. I mean, guys got to take up time too, right? We got to sit here and, you know, we got to go, come on now, hurry up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. And then the back bedroom. Nice big windows in all your bedrooms. Out of the bedroom to the right, <clears throat> the light, yes, to the light. To the right is your big den area. Now this one runs the full width of a whole section and it is a pretty big room. You could easily set this up as a, you know, they got a foosball table, put a pool table in here maybe, set it up as a theater room. You got darts. There's a lot you could do with that room. Now kind of off our living room and dining room together is the master bedroom. Now this is a good sized master bedroom. Now I haven't even mentioned you have two closets. Now they're both in the bathroom, but you do get two closets. And I tell you, I really like the door, the glass door they used on the shower in here. So this is the same counter they used in the guest bathroom with the drawers at each end, except they went with the double sinks in here and the double vanity. And I don't know if I waved, so hello Raiden. Well, let me get my face out of the way. Hello Raiden. Up, oh, you're seeing one of the closets. So nice long counter in here. And door handle to door handle is going to be your water closet back here. A 
And so outside of your water closet back here is closet number one. Now I didn't say this closet was very big. I did say you had two closets. <laughs> That's all I said. I didn't say it was a big one. And then your second closet. This is the one you're most likely going to use the most. I would say that one is probably more of a linen closet than a actual closet, but it did have the wire rack like a standard closet. So <laughs> this one is much bigger. And then you've got this really nice free floating tub with plenty of light coming in there. You're probably going to want to put some blinds in there. And now, I know I don't do a whole lot of tiny homes and cottages, but those two blue and white ones over there, 18 foot wide, I really wish there was power in there. Because with it being a cloudy day like it is, there's just not enough light, even with my light, to do them justice. But let me tell you, look them up on the website. They are, oh my gosh, I really wanted to film them. <laughs> I don't usually do tiny homes and cottages, but they were definitely worth filming if I could have done them justice. So, and here's that door that I really liked in here. I mean, doesn't that just look, let's stand back and take a look. Tell me that doesn't look good. And I really like the color of the tile in here. Looks really, really good. So once again, I'll take one quick look at that and then we'll head back out and uh, and you guys need to head down to the comment box and let me know what you think of the home. What do you like? What kind of changes would you make? And I don't know if the facility that this one is made at, you can get everything done in sheetrock. Like I said, I just, I'm not sure why partial sheetrock and, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I know there was a couple of other homes that they said the same thing. They only do them like the living areas, but they don't do the quote unquote wet areas in sheetrock. I'm not sure if there's something that has to be done differently or what, and that facility just can't do it. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see done differently in this home, or if you like it the way it is. Don't forget to hit that subscription box and the notification bell and all that good stuff. Share this video, helps them perform a little bit better. And I will be back with some price info. Thanks for watching. All right. Well, now we got to get some price information for this home. <laughs> Sorry, my voice might sound a little bit hoarse. Um, we had a dry lightning storm a couple days ago. Started a whole lot of fires. In fact, I'll even throw up a little quick picture to show you how many are just around the area that I'm in. It's pretty bad. Smoke everywhere. It's hard to see outside. It even smells like smoke inside the house here. It's that bad. But anyway, that said, we got to get some price information. So this home was filmed in January of 2023. This is at Pratt Homes down in Tyler, Texas. So the price may have changed a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't called to get any current price information because we are talking, you know, it's been about six or seven months now. But that said, this is a manufactured home. So this is going for anywhere between 75 to $100 a square foot. That was all the information that Pratt Homes would give me as far as uh, price goes, because all their homes are built differently, so there's a variation in you know how much it costs and that kind of stuff. So that was the best information that they were willing to give me. You know, you could get this home depending on other city fees, county fees, things like that, and other places. Pratt Homes does deliver outside of Texas. So keeping that kind of stuff in mind, that price could vary. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.